Okay, lovely people, welcome to another video of accountinglecture.com. In this video, we will be practicing one of the past papers from Unit 1, June 2016. It's the recent paper. And the recent papers look like this. You have to answer everything inside uh, uh, the question paper. And uh, here you start with uh, your center number. One, three, four, four, one is the center number for our sixth form college. Uh, you write your name. Elias, Rubel, and his sign. <laughs> okay, and the exam date. Okay, it used to be one and a half hour exam, and this is the very last exam you're doing in June 2018 if you are doing any retake. And uh, after that, it's going to be three hours exam. And uh, yeah, there are 80 marks now. Nowadays, there are 80 marks. Okay, so the first question. We're going to solve today is all the 14 marks and the following information has been extracted from the books of account of Tanya Marsh at 30th April 2016. Okay, trial balance information given and some additional information given. I want to see the requirement. Very important, always read the requirement first. Okay, so the requirement is prepare the extract from the income statement to show the gross profit for the year and a very important gross profit not the whole items you're not meant to do eight marks and two professional marks at the bottom few more some multiple choice and a bit of a balance sheet extract is for current liability of 14 marks okay let's read the questions then up 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 at the top we need to do gross profit first. Okay, uh, bank overdraft. This is straight your current liability. Bank loan repayable February 2017. When is your year end? Your year end is 30th April 2016. So this bank loan is your current liability. It's a short term liability. You'll have to repay within 12 months time. Carriage outward. It doesn't go until gross profit, after gross profit, discount allowed. It does go, we'll take it into account. Discount received, take it into account. Drawings, nope, uh, not needed. Uh, inventory, we'll take into account. Motor expenses, not needed for the time being. Premises, purchase, purchase is needed, premises not needed. Rent and rates, return inwards is needed. Not rent and rates for the time being again. Return, out, return inwards means is coming in we sold out it's coming in so it's a sales return return outwards means we purchase now we're returning out it's a purchase return sales information will take into account payables is a current liability receivables current asset not needed for the uh, for this particular question because i didn't see any current asset information Okay, additional information. Inventory 38, 30th April. So close in closing inventory. Carriage outward account included 1400, which related to carriage inward. So we'll need to take away from carriage outward, put it into the carriage in. So minus 1400, and there is no carriage inward. So this 1400 is your carriage in. All right, the first two is quick and fair, done. Annual rates, it says annual means one year, 12 months. Invoices, whenever you see invoice, it's due. They might tell you at the end of the same sentence, but it's due, we haven't paid of that much amount for the year ending. Uh, look at the year ending, it's different than our year ending, it's July. Remain unpaid, there we go. They said remain unpaid is completely due, it's not paid. Okay, so till July for one year it's due. So when the one year started, 1st of August, let me show you something here. From 1st August, so from 1st August till July. Uh, 30th July it's all due so 1st August of when 2015 till 30th 
31st July um, 2016. In between, there are 12 months. We need to check how many months is in our accounting period, which is due, and how many months is next accounting period, which is also due, but will not take those into account, those um, uh, months. So our account ends is, um, yeah, there you go, 30th of April. So May, June, July, three months next accounting period and nine months our accounting period due. So it's a nine months due. Yeah, um, easy stuff. But you, if you want to check, you can check from like August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and April. All these in our accounting period. May, June, July, next accounting period, none of our concern, but all of it is due. Count how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine months due in our, our accounting period. Let's work it out then. This two four hundred divided by twelve times by nine, and you're supposed to figure of um, eighteen hundred. That's due. You should do these workings uh, in the designated area. Um, yeah, the extra spaces, um, these extra spaces, you should do your workings. Yeah, let me erase it to work or next possible items. Okay, so moving on to our next workings. Um, at this 1800, I said due, so it should be added with the uh, rates let's let's keep working it yeah maybe needed yeah um so plus 1800 all right moving on uh, rent expenses totaling 1530 had been paid in advance for the month of may april is our air rent next month uh, we paid 1530 more so Prepayment should be taken away. And rent and rents are together. If you can see over here, it is together. Minus 1530. And the answer, you're supposed to get 35675. 35675. Uh, let's see where we can fit these answers. Not in our first requirements. Um, this one is done. This one is done. Rent and rents are done. And motor expenses included 300, which related to private insurance. Whenever it's private insurance of uh, owner, it's drawings or owner's son. So take away from motor expenses. Mm, where is the motor expenses? Yeah, there you go. The found it. 12,500 minus 300. And you add with your drawings plus. 300 although we don't need it but just working on it number five done number six motor expenses account had been undercast it's shown lower we need to make it up higher so if it is understated we need to make it overstated plus 35 and our answer is 12 to 3 5 might need might not we don't know all our possible workings been done now we will jump into our main answer. Okay, let me take a different color pen. Um, I'll do over the two column. It's an income statement trading account section till gross profit. Start with sales. And I have seen there is a sales return, which is return inward. Red in, you need to write in full then you get net sales let's look for the figures and the sales figure they said revenue we should write revenue as well hundred and twenty thousand the same thing revenue or sales and sales return or return inwards is two eight hundred okay let's write it down sales or revenue or it, they could say turnover, the same thing, 120,000. Takeaway, 2,800. 
you get net sales 117200. That's your net sales. Of that, we will take away cost of sales. And yes, you know, it started opening inventory. The cost of this 117200. It's too much zero, I think. Yeah, <laughs> too much zero. Okay, cost of sales opening inventory. We have some opening inventory plus purchases. Uh, let's purchase return. It's a purchase but returning out per rent out. Return outwards. And uh, there is a carriage inward I have seen. Plus it's a part of purchase expenses cost. Carriage in, less closing inventory. Let's look for the figures. Opening information is given over here. Inventory, 11,500. And purchases, 23,500. No, sorry, that's for premises. Purchases, 44,500. Be very careful. Yep. Yeah. And uh, our return outwards is 1,200, yes. Carriage inward, we know, is 1,400. Should be taken into account. And closing inventory is 20,520. Let's keep putting those figures in straight down in our answer. Starting with opening inventory, 11,500. And purchase is 44,500. Let's purchase return or return outward is 1,200, yeah? Yes, 1,200. And uh, just stop checking. It should be 1,200. I just checked it. Yeah, it is 1,200 over here. Carriage inward is 1,400. And closing inventory is 20,540. Just double checking your answer. Yeah, 40,540. That should be our cost of sales. COS. Then you get GP. Not the general practitioner yet again. Not the doctor. It's a gross profit. Okay, the added up figure of our cost of sales is 35,660. Take away from our sales, our net sales figure. We're supposed to get 81,000. 540. Yep, yeah, it's very much acceptable presentation. That's your answer. Your eight marks are in. Moving on to our next step. Yeah, I think we have done it. Yeah, look at the tick, the one of the boxes below to show the total amount rent and rent expenses to be charged with the income statement. Um, yeah, le let me check for the um, rent and rates. We have worked it out. Rent and rates at the top over here. Yeah, three five six seven five. Three five six seven five is the answer. Boom. You do the answer, you get the answer mark. Okay, and the other one is the vehicle expenses. How much it should be? We have worked it out, I believe. Uh let's let's check it out. And um the answer is yeah, there we go. Yo motor vehicle expenses is 12 to 35 and that should be the answer we have worked it out already that's good to work out yeah 12 to 35 is the answer moving on to the very last part of our 14 marks question okay as i said I prepared the extract from the balance sheet for tanya marsh to show the current liabilities Okay, it's four marks. Current liability. Oops, it's already written. Current liability. Okay, I've seen there is a bank overdraft. We'll take it into account. And we also have seen there's a bank loan, but it's a short term. It's a current liability. We'll need to take our trade payables. And there is a, a rates due. We are liable to pay other payables. Okay, and these are your items. One, two, three, four items. 
let's check the figures scroll up 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 yeah it's the figures that do 275 for all overdraft 10,000 for your bank loan and trade payables 45,200 and due is 1800 let's keep writing it down all the way at the bottom start with the money sign we'll start with 2275 then 10,000 easy stuff and then 45,000 and 200 then 1800 rates do you let me take my calculator five nine two seven five you get your 14 happy marks